do you have this year for your NBA MVP? I knew this was going to come up. Okay, so I know a lot of I know I know there's going to be a lot of argument as to probably why he shouldn't be MVP from other people because you know people are really they have strong opinions on this. But I'm going to say I'm going to go with Westbrook, and I think you probably knew that from my previous segment here. You probably knew I was leading into that. But now I know I know it's it's obviously a big deal that he broke Oscar Robertson's record. By the way, I was actually at that game. I was at the Denver Nuggets game. And uh, I saved my ticket because I'm probably gonna sell it on eBay in like 45 years from now for like a shitload of money. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, I really was at the game. So I, it's, it's, it was, you know, and I was rooting for him because I was like, oh, come on. I just, I, and I kept like trying to film it. And of course his teammates were just like awful that game. And you know, he, he literally carries the entire load, but uh, regardless, he ended up getting it, and it was just so nice to see. You know, he was it was an away game for him. He was in Denver, and just the whole crowd was like chanting his name, standing up because it's it's such an amazing feat. You know, I, I think it was what 1961, 62 season that when when that was uh, that record was was made. So it, it was a great thing to see. Again, um, the thing about Westbrook is that he literally has to carry the entire team. And that that is important, of course, but it's your overall success as a team that also matters, which I think is why a lot of people would beg to differ about his success level as a teammate, per se. Uh, whereas Harden, you know, Harden did, very, Harden did a great job for the Rockets in general. Obviously, at the end, it kind of just fell apart in the playoffs, but um, it, I can see why people could easily say, no, he should not be MVP. For me, personally, I, I, if I had to pick one, I, I just like him. I like the guy in general. I just, I, I, would, I would say you almost have to give it to him. And even though other records have been broken this season, that's such a massive one. I think that's why people kind of hone in on that. And it was such a big deal when he did it. So that's, that's who I got. Yeah, I, I can't I can't argue with you on that. If you're gonna average a triple double in this day and age in the modern NBA, that goes without saying you are the most valuable player on your team. And to be honest, he really didn't have as much help as the other guys. You look at Kawhi Leonard. He, and in all honesty, he you know there is some efficiency that is lacking with their offense in general. So I think he has to work doubly hard or triply hard to to, to be able to. Uh, have and reach a goal like that um, but it, it's just you know as a team it, you, you watch them as a team and it's like it's almost when I was watching that game it, I'm just gonna use that particular game for example it's all sometimes it's cringeworthy his, his teammates it, it's they literally have to rely on him so so much um, and of course, that's why he had the ability to, to be able to break that type of record. But I agree with you, this day and age, it's not easy. It's not an easy feat, you know, hence why the last time it was broken was, you know, 1961-62 season. Yeah, I mean, I, I look at Kawhi Leonard's team. He had a bunch of all-stars and, and really good players around him. Uh, James Harden had some great players and a great system around him. Russell Westbrook, his team, you know, they relied on him. but. I think all the fans will vote for him. I think the media will vote for him, and I, and I think he'll he'll pull it out because he he did something that hadn't been done in a long time. And speaking of doing things that hadn't been done at all, I know we have a situation with the uh, NHL playoffs and a and a particular team going to the uh, Stanley Cup Finals. Tell us a little bit about that. So right now we have Nashville, um, and they have actually made the Stanley Cup Finals. And I didn't really have them in, the, in, in my radar all season long. I mean, I did have them obviously making the playoffs, but I didn't see them going as far as they did. Uh, in my bracket, actually, I picked the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Caps because, you know, the Caps have... A uh, long time, ha they've, they've just always had great seasons, but they just really fall apart in the playoffs. And of course, I'm sure it's very frustrating for Ovechkin and, and whatnot. But the National Predators, they are just so cohesive as a team. Uh, they worked really well and they actually beat the Anaheim Ducks to make the finals. So now we have um, the Penguins in Ottawa centers. They're actually doing their series currently. Um, 
and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. They are uh, tied up in the series, and they're actually forcing Game 7. So it'll be really, really, really interesting to see what happens and who they end up playing against. Uh, you know, anything can happen in the Pens and Ottawa Center series, but I'm so glad that the Nashville Predators made it into the finals just because, again, like I said, it's nice to see something unexpected because, like, I expected Chicago Blackhawks, who's just generally a, tend to be a domineering team, makes the playoffs, and the Caps, of course, obviously domineering all season long. Uh, so for me, I just, I kind of, my bracket was very expected, <laughs> but so it's nice to see something different because I, I would, would beg to differ. I don't think that many people had Nashville for sure in the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, so it's, it's good to see that. It's great for the hockey fans. Uh, Nashville is an aggressive team. So I'm really glad to see that, uh, uh, ha have them going into the finals, of course. So it, it should be a good one, either whoever they end up playing. So, I know you're not a huge hockey fan, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to fill you in on everything. <laughs> Don't you worry. We're going we're gonna to have a segment in the future called Cool Black Guy on Ice, where I will be indoctrinated to the realm of NHL hockey. But a quick off-the-cuff question. How would you grade the NBA playoffs versus the NHL playoffs at to this point thus far? For me, you know, I watched both. Uh, so I would have to say as a fan, as a sports fan, uh, take away my who I really want and who I don't want in my personal opinion. But as a sports fan in general, I would have to say hockey has been so much more exciting because there's been a lot of games that have actually gone into OT to decide, you know, the series and whatnot. And um, just overall in general, you know, hockey players are so aggressive and there's just more fights, more physicality in the game. Um, and then, you know, it's unexpected. Like I said, it's, it's just an unexpected thing. So for fans, we're like, wow, anything can really happen. And it's good to see that because you, you want to go into next season believing that your team, who you don't necessarily think is going to make, you know, you may think they are going to make the playoffs. You don't really see them going in that far into the playoffs. They actually make the finals, you know, so it's great to have that feeling um, and knowing that there's hope and a possibility and there's not really that super team. Uh, so, I mean, there's, you know, like I said, there's teams throughout the season that do amazing, but there's so many injuries and so many other things that come into play that you get these great teams that play during the season and then playoffs come and some of them just like, they just go fall apart completely. So uh, I would have to say the NHL for me personally. Yeah, as a, as a sports fan. Well, the NHL, you know, we, we work with the sad franchise that is known as the Capitals, who always seem to screw up and choke at the end of the season. They win the whole thing so bad. I actually had them winning the whole thing because I really think for Ovechkin, because, God, he, he's just such a talented player and he works so hard. I want to give it to him. I'm like, come on, he needs this. He needs a, he needs a cup. But how many, year, how many years has he been in the league? I, I, I don't even know exactly how many. I mean, he has been in the playoffs God knows how many times, you know, and they just can't. He, you know, and I felt bad because he, he had a, a few bad games and, uh, you know, he, I'm sure he carries a lot of weight on his shoulder all season long. He's such a talented guy. He plays so well in general. So it's got to be very frustrating when you're almost there. It's almost like, you know, you're half in, half out. You'd rather, you know, not even have a shot of making it <laughs> than like getting so close and tasting it and having another bitter ending and I feel like he just you know and then after that you see these like should he be traded and this and that and you see all these rumors and of course there's always people are going to talk especially if they don't make it on that level but they are just so cursed whenever they go against the penguins it's just I don't know they just can't get over that hump it's like it's a mental block and they just don't play near as well as they should play against the penguins so um that's that's that so I, I again I really wanted them and even the rangers you know I am a rangers fan and I was rooting for them too so I like to just see some something different and I did I ended up seeing something different because Nashville's in it so that's something unexpected and like I said as a sports fan we just want to see a little bit of a switch up because it's nice it's, it's nice to not have the expected yeah, I definitely think the fans will be able to appreciate the parody in uh, hockey with the unanticipated uh, Stanley Cup. But what we'll do right now, we'll go to a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about the fights. We're going to talk about Triple G and Canelo and Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. We'll be right back. Fox Sports Radio, 96.9 FM, Overtime. <laughs> 